Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 560. Pneumonia. What is lobar pneumonia? Lobar pneumonia is a type of pneumonia that affects one or more lobes of the lung. It's a condition in which there is intra-alveolar exudate that leads to consolidation, and consolidation means that there is fluid inside the lung. What are all the organisms that can lead to lobar pneumonia? Lobar pneumonia commonly occurs with strep pneumonia, but it can also happen with klebsiella. What is bronchopneumonia? Bronchopneumonia is a type of pneumonia in which you see acute inflammatory infiltrates from the bronchioles into the adjacent alveoli. This type of pneumonia has a patchy distribution which involves one or more lobes. What are all the organisms that can lead to bronchopneumonia? Bronchopneumonia can occur due to strep pneumonia, staph aureus, H. influenza, and klebsiella. Briefly, describe the differences between lobar and bronchopneumonia. The differences between lobar and bronchopneumonia is that lobar pneumonia is caused by pneumococci or strep pneumo in 90% of the cases, and in a few cases it's caused by klebsiella, whereas bronchopneumonia is caused by strep, staph, H. influenza, and klebsiella. Lobar pneumonia has a sudden onset with high-grade fever, whereas bronchopneumonia is insidious with low-grade fever. Lobar pneumonia causes consolidation of the whole lung, whereas bronchopneumonia produces patchy pneumonic consolidation. I would also like to mention here that strep pneumonia causes bronchopneumonia in IV drug users and hospitalized patients, whereas H. influenza causes bronchopneumonia in babies and young children, and klebsiella causes bronchopneumonia in diabetics and alcoholics. A few additional pneumonias that come under bronchopneumonia category include aspiration pneumonia, which is caused by gram-positive or gram-negative anaerobes from the mouth. There is also ventilation-associated pneumonia, which happens in intubated patient, and this is caused by staph. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.